Mein nächster Gast feiert bereits seit Jahren durchgehend Erfolge mit seiner Band The Killers. Ähm, jetzt denkt er auch nicht mal dran, eine Pause einzulegen, sondern er schlägt einfach mal Solo-Wege ein. Und ich freue mich sehr, dass er heute Abend hier ist. Hier ist bei mir Brandon Flowers. Hi, welcome, Brandon. Thank you. How are you so far? I feel good. Yeah, very good. So, uh, you just released your first solo album, which is pretty successful. And tonight you will perform here at a new pop festival. So, how does it feel like performing without your band, without The Killers? It's all right, you know. It's uh, I'm slowly getting used to it, but it's yeah. been a it's been a fun experience, actually. Um, so the other guys decided to take a long break after years of making music, um, but you moved on. So when and how do you relax? Uh, I li you know I, I do. I have time off. I make sure to you know to schedule it so that I've got you know enough enough time off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your latest songs were first considered being tracks of a new Killers uh, record. Why did you decide to release a new solo album? Well, I say that it was meant to be a kill, you know, Killers record because that's what I, that's I'm the singer in the Killers. I'm, it's my band. That's what I, you know, I would prefer that they, you know, wanted to make a record right now, but mm. they just don't. So, okay. so I made it. I didn't try to. Chose yeah, so people say, oh, that's why, you know, there are similarities to the Killers and. Oh, it's just, that's not why. It's just these are the songs, and yeah. I present them the way that they that they come out. So, do uh, the other band members like your album? What, what uh, do they I, you know, I'm sure they like some of it and hate some of it, and I don't know. It's, yeah. it's, uh, But you're still in contact with them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, your album is a kind of declaration of love to your hometown, Las Vegas. So mm, no? I don't know. But why did you name it uh, Flamingo? I love. La I do love Las Vegas, and I'm from there, and I live there. Mm -hmm. I choose to live there, obviously. Uh, Flamingo is, uh, you know, is part of Vegas mythology, part of my, you know, my my roots, mm -hmm. and it doesn't mean uh, necessarily that it's a love letter to Las Vegas, but it's, you know, it's it's my it's my thing, I guess. But you played your first uh, solo show at the Las Vegas Hilton. I did. Uh, what was the intention to choose that location? Again, uh, that's a, it's a historic place in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's one of the few places that hasn't gotten um, demolished and rebuilt. Or, you know, it's, it's actually, you know, Elvis played there over 500 times. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's, it's, it's great. That it's still there, I guess. So it was a, it was nice to play there. Mm -hmm. um, I was really surprised when I first watched the Crossfire video and recognized that Charlize Th uh, Theron was acting in it. Yeah. How did that collaboration come up? Uh, we just called her up. Really? You yeah. have the private number of Charlize Theron? I can get these things. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty <really> cool. <laughs> so was it fun with her, working with her? Yeah. Yeah. You know, they, one of the things is you. There's all these cliches about. When the camera turns on and people, you know, great actors and, and these, you know, people having something special about them, you know, when that, you know, when that red light starts blinking, and uh, it was it was neat to see that, to see her, you know, rise above uh, everyone else in the room when, mm. the, you know, when that when the when the camera turned on. Um, on your album, there's a gospel song called "On the Floor." So how does that fit into a record that is loaded with uh, rock songs? Um, I think you know, going back to the roots. Um, rock, you know, I think can be traced back to, to, to probably a lot of religious music, actually. But um, I don't know, people that I, you know, my dad, I grew up hearing Elvis and, and Johnny Cash in the house, and they were always singing uh, gospel songs. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it was, it's, I guess it just made sense to me. I don't know. Okay. I'm not saying I'm like Elvis or Johnny Cash. It's just, it didn't seem like too, too, um, didn't seem like too much of a departure to, mm -hmm. to write a, a, you know, a gospel track. Okay. Uh, you have two boys and a third baby is on the way. Is it hard for you to be away for such a long time from your family? Do you miss them? Sometimes it's hard, but it's, it's, uh, this is what I do, and I'm, th I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what else yeah. to, you know, I figure out just a way to juggle it, it, I guess. Yeah. Well, no, I just work. I'm lucky because I have a, s a certain amount of success so far, so I'm able to to say, okay, well, let's tour this long and then I'll go home. And then I'll tour this long and I'll go home. Then I'm able to, you know, mm. work that out like that. Okay. And you're currently on a promotional tour and tomorrow night you will perform in Cologne. Is there going to be a big uh, tour here in Germany? Um, I mean, we're, we're definitely going to play a few gigs in Germany. Mm. It's always fun for me. And, but yeah, we're going all over Europe. What about the future plans with the Killers? Uh, it's, it's Do you have any plans? 
Not really. We're just taking it as it comes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Brent, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here and enjoy Baden-Baden. Thank you. Thank Brent you. Flowers.